All right, so today we are going to be talking about crystal grids. Um, I'm Jamie Maddox, and um, I've read a few books on crystal grids and, you know, I've done research, but um, I've learned the most, um, and the method that I'm teaching you um, is what I've mostly learned from Holly Hope. Um, just so you have a reference point, so if this is different than what you've learned. Um, but that's one thing that I, I feel like I've gained from uh, learning from about crystal grids is that a, a huge part of it is the intention. Are there, are there specifics and things to follow? Absolutely. But like intention really is <laughs> vital with it. And so, um, I would just say, don't stress if you're doing it wrong, um, because it takes time to learn. Um, but just know that if you have that intention, then, um, the intention is more powerful than anything else. Um, Okay, so I have been working on manifesting a Toyota Tacoma, uh, red, <laughs> 2016 or um, newer, <laughs> so for a very long time. And so uh, this morning when I thought about doing this video, I was like, oh, you know what, let's set up a grid to just help amplify that desire and that ability to bring in and manifest that vehicle. So. Um, so what we first do is we take the crystal points and these go on uh, the four corners, okay? So these help to amplify. And the reason that they're points is that it, it takes what's in the center and points the energy out. And that's why it allows it to amplify. And that's why you need the crystal points because um, then it just goes in all directions, okay? So in the center, um, I am... And here's the thing. So it's like, how would you make a grid for a truck, right? But here's the things. The truck for me isn't necessarily about the vehicle. It's about what it will allow me to do. And um, so it's like, oh my goodness, I can, I, I love rock counting. I love crystals. And so it's like, there's a lot of areas that I can't go in with a car because um, it requires four wheel drive. And so I'm like, okay, I can go on adventures. I can have more time with my daughter. Um, we can go up the mountains and, you know, stargaze in the back of the truck. We can, you know, get a small trailer and go on adventures. I can move more things. So for me, the truck really represents freedom and experiences and this new level of being able to enjoy my life. So that's what I'm putting in the center because the center of a grid is where your intention goes. So for me, I'm grabbing some seashells that I've gathered in Cape Cod and in Miami and I'm going to put that in the center and then this is blue ocean stone and um, it is only found in Canada these are ones that I tumbled and they're like one of my favorite crystals anyway I just love that they look like the ocean I love the ocean obviously so for me the ocean really represents freedom and experiences um, and that's what I'm going for with this truck also okay so we're going to put that in the center next we have our supporting crystals and these ones are going to go in between each of the clear quartz okay um, and these ones can be interchangeable so for me again I as I was just going through my crystals and my rocks this morning um, I just grabbed a bunch of ones that I love and just really represent me and so we're just going to put them here so we've got some some agate, some sodalite, amethyst, and I'm trying to decide if we need the amethyst or not. And then um, Dalmatian, uh, uh, Jasper. Da I know it's Dalmatian. I think it's Dalmatian Jasper. I'd have to check. <laughs> okay, that's why we have books when we forget all the all the things. Okay, um, and then these two, I just. Orange is my favorite color and I just think they're so pretty. So I'm actually going to put those ones in the center too because again, like the center is what I really want amplified and that's um, everything I love and what represents me. And that truck really is a representation of me and my desires. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. So you can put it on a cloth or on a base. I have these wood bases that I've done some artwork on um, that I use. And then I just... Um, set this just in wherever in my house 
and I let it do its work of amplifying the energy and transmuting the energy um, until it feels complete. And then I will uh, take it down and put up another one. So I hope this is helpful.